Okay, now it's asking us to load the filament. So just like the video shows, we've already put it through the guide tube that it's doing now. And now once it's in the guide tube, we're going to load it into the top. So we already have it in the guide tube. So let's go hit continue. Extruder is heating up. So we're going to wait for it to heat up. Okay, now it's asking us to fill the uh, Phoebe filament into the extruder. So we're going to fill it in and push it down until we feel it catch. And when we feel it catch, it'll pull it. We got to do it while that engine is running. And then once we feel it catch, we can replace the plastic with the top. And it's asking us to watch it in the bottom to make sure it's coming out, just like in the picture. We're going to watch. And once we see it, we're going to click continue so it can stop feeding. So we see it, we'll click continue because we saw it coming out of the bottom and the engine will stop. Very nice. If by chance you don't get a chance to feed it the filament while the engine's running and it stops, you can always hit the back button and it'll reheat it again and it'll go through the process where you can feed it again. No problem. So now it says get started. So first we're going to reach in and we're going to pull out that excess that it fed and then we're going to close the door again. So we're going to click get started. And it already has a print down here at the bottom for us to print. So now that we have it, we're just going to click on print. And start print. There it goes. And if we want to watch it in the camera, we can go to our monitor over here on the right hand side and it will show us in the camera what is going on at all times. It also shows us our temperature at all times right here. So it's heating up to 180 so it can print. And at any time during our printing, we need to cancel or pause it. We have our cancel button and we have our pause button right here. And again, that's all under monitor. So if I click monitor at any time, I could pause it if I need to, cancel it without a problem, and see what's going on. In the camera, we can watch it. Okay, now it's doing its final heating and about to print. There we go. See it moving into position. beginning to print. You can watch it on the camera printing. And the first layer that it prints down is what's called the raft. Every object that you print, it's going to pr print a flat little table first and then it'll print your object on top of that table. That little table that it creates first is called the raft. That's what it's doing now. Okay, under monitor, we can, we're watching it print. Also, you could see the time. It says it took eight minutes total to print, and so far, four minutes and 17 seconds have gone by, so we have a little over three minutes left on this print. Okay, now that the print is finished, the build plate has lowered, and it's asking us if we want to sh sh save a photo we can click here and it will take a photo and we could save it in our computer of the final product. Okay, so we're just going to exit that and we are going to let it cool for a few minutes. We let it settle for a few minutes. Now, while we're waiting a few minutes for our object to cool, we want to unload the filament so it doesn't get jammed in there. After every print we do, we want to unload it. And let me show you what that looks like. So we're going to go over here to change, and we're just going to simply click unload. And it is preparing the smart extruder to unload the filament. And what it's doing is it's heating it up hot enough so it could extrude what's in there. Okay, so it says unload the filament 
it now it says we can pull the plastic back and pull the filament out. And we did that. So we're going to click done. And that's it. Now we have the filament out. We can remove our object that is down here. So we're going to open it up and we're going to remove our object. So the best way to remove the object is to just use a knife or an X-Acto knife. And you're just going to get under the edge with that sharp blade and pry it open without harming the tape if possible. You don't want to cut the tape. So we're just going to get underneath there and get enough and barely, you can hear a crack. And there it goes. So we, didn't, we didn't cut the tape, so that's good. 